You see, before this was all fun and games, and now it's getting serious because we're expanding. Did I think I would be here? Absolutely not. I, this was supposed to be fun, just a little side gig that I did just to, like I keep saying, get it out of my system with renting. I wanna rent real estate, so what better way to do that in the meantime than to rent something small scale like a trailer? And it has been doing insane. I mean, it, it's, it's insane. I'm not exaggerating for YouTube. You see, now it gets serious. I'm a little bit nervous because uh, this isn't like goofing around anymore. I'm taking steps to expand a side gig into essentially a business. I'm happy I took that step because I cannot keep this trailer in my driveway. It is always out on the road making me money. And I've even thought years ago about starting a little trailer rental business, but it was always with a dumpster, like a dump trailer. Because with that, I don't know, it, it feels like it'd be, it'd be cool to have one. First off, you have your own little portable dumpster you can do anything you want with rather than a car hauler, which essentially all it can do is haul supplies and a car. The dump trailer is a little bit more versatile, just can't haul a car. But anyway, I, I diversify what I'm doing and expanding the business. So I found a great deal, I think, on a car hauler and we're pulling up here now. I'm gonna go take a look at it, uh, see if I wanna buy it. Uh, it's only a thousand dollars and I think I see it. So I'm gonna go talk to the gentleman here and we'll see if I wanna buy it. Oh boys, we got something good cooking up here. The dual giveaway, this is special. I'm telling you, it's rare to see opportunities like this where you can win a GMC AT4X AEV Bison and the Silverado ZR2 counterpart. Both the AEV additions, both the Duramax engines, perfect looking method wheels, chunky off-road tires, locking differentials, cotton, and so much more. More. Oh, did I mention $50,000 cash? And not just for one truck, for both. So you have the opportunity to walk away with both of these trucks and $100,000 in cash. Our merch game is so on point right now. It's just, I, I've never seen anything more incredible. I love it. From top to bottom, it just 717 Supply has not missed. So hit it up in the description. Get entered right now for the dual giveaway for both of these trucks and the cash. Thank you guys so much for the support and good luck. So here we have it. A little bit of rough condition here. Some weeds growing up. Uh, the deck is a little rusty and it looks like we're gonna have to do some repairs here. Yeah, lots of rust. Tires look pretty chunky. These look bigger than my car haulers. I can't imagine these would haul more weight. I mean, I guess it could. You could put anything in here. Load range E, yep. So these are higher rated payload on these wheels and tires. Well, at least the tires. And there looks like a little bit of dry rot, but maybe enough to get it home. So it would need all new tires. It's been sitting for so long. I'm sure we need some grease in the bearings, uh, if not all new bearings. And uh, yeah, probably needs new bearings. So that's another expense. And then the inside of the deck here is... Oh, I get a free uh, Diablo blade. Diablo steel blade. That's nice. It's like eight bucks now or something like that. Yeah, rust showing through here. This is just worn paint. Um, but yeah, this, I mean, I can't put my finger through it, so it's not too bad. Not too bad, but it's definitely been sitting for a while now. Here's my here's my philosophy with this trailer, all right? It's an easy dumper, if that means anything to anyone. The guy wants a thousand bucks for it. I can maybe talk him down a little bit more. It has a title. I'm assuming it will roll away here and I can take it down the street, uh, hopefully safely. It doesn't have to go very far. This is just right around the corner. A thousand bucks. So if this rents for one month, it pays itself off. If it rents for two months, it pays for all the repairs. It's gonna need new tires, new wheels, probably an inspection, I'm sure, and a few other odds and ends. Because at the front here, the little kickstand is missing. So I'm gonna have to get a new one of those, bolt that on. It does have the emergency brake cable, so at least it's new enough to have that. And this system, the hook up to your hitch, first off, this seems broken, but we'll see how uh, how that works. Little bit out of inspection. I'm gonna buy it. Let's see how this goes. Day, rolling up to my grandfather's farm here and we are there's the front view there's the back view we got the trailer hooked up do I have a hitch that doesn't tell us much anyway trailer is loaded locked and loaded pulling into the parking spot here of my trailer rental something all four wheels spinning just fine BAM open for business this thing, for whatever reason, I don't know if it's just heavier than the car trailer. I mean, maybe it is. I have no clue. I didn't look at any of the uh, the stuff on here. I have to look at the title work. But this is harder to tow, I'm not going to lie, than the car hauler. And it's empty. It squats the truck a little bit more, which I'm sure you can notice here. has some new wheels and tires on it. It's the old wheels and tires. I'll get back to that in a minute. For those of you interested in Colorado ZR2 content, just give me a second. We'll get back to that. But yes, 
the dump trailer. This is what I wanted before the flat trailer because uh, it just seems easier, less liability, maybe not, but it just kind of seems like it is. And something I did not know until uh, yesterday after I got it home to my house, I wasn't able to do any filming. But I, like a dump trailer, I thought like, okay, it's a dumpster trailer, that's what it is. No, this has, I don't know if it works, I'm gonna have to test it, a hydraulic arm on it. And this, so if I ever, I uh, have to take this to the dump or anything, it dumps itself, hence the name. So two ways that this thing can make money. One, I rent it out, they do their own work, it, it leaves my house empty and it comes back empty and they pay me cash or whatever, uh, and then we're good to go. Or I take this to a customer's house who doesn't have the ability to tow it, drop it off for the week, let it sit out in the road and they fill it up with a bunch of crap. I take it away to the dump so I get to charge them for the trailer usage and the dump fee, make money on both ends. And the only thing that affects my life is taking this to the customer's house and paying for gas to get there. Everything else is covered by the customer. They pay the dump fee plus extra. I mean, that's part of my valuable time and they get to use my trailer. So that's so cool. I don't know how to operate it. It's probably in here somewhere. Yep, there it is. There's a battery and the switches. I'm gonna assume that the battery is cooked. Yeah, battery is cooked. But aside from that, I don't see why this wouldn't work. So the new addition to my trailer business, if you guys are waiting or thinking about doing something like this, just do it. This is so easy, so small scale, and the risk is, I mean, I have yet to see any. If God forbid something happens, I got insurance, it's not that expensive, and we're good to go. This economy and inflation is crazy, so if you're like trying to save up to buy a house, and uh, maybe you already own a house, you're trying to save up to buy a house like myself, uh, and it's like, man, I got this cash sitting around for a down payment, but it just doesn't look like we're gonna be able to afford a home right now, a bigger home. Put into something like this. It'll make you money. They retain their value. This one's in a little bit of rough shape, so you, but you can get it for cheap. So it's awesome. And the good news is, before I just go on and on and on, I'll wrap this video up here. This is just a quickie. This is rented already. Just to let you guys know. It's been two days since the first scenes of this video, uh, and it's, it's rented. So someone is coming to pick this up tomorrow they're gonna have it for three days stationary they're coming to pick it up it's gonna be in front of the house that they're doing a trash out on for a bank they're gonna load it to the top they're gonna take it to the dump and i get 300 dollars cash simple as that this thing is already down to 700 dollars overall cost and i'm pretty sure for the deal i got on it thousand bucks i could sell this tomorrow for i don't know a couple thousand 1500 somewhere around there because everything works tires are brand new i mean they look great so that's awesome thank you guys so much for watching uh, if you want updates on the colorado zr2 we're doing a total overhaul of this machine. I'm, I'm kind of over it because I think this might be a two-year truck. Uh, for those of you that, that might make you excited, for others, maybe not. But yeah, this vehicle, we, we started off on, say, like, if here's point zero, and we went sort of this direction, and you think, okay, now we're going to go this way. No, we're going the whole way back to point zero, and we're going to start over a whole new build. A whole new build. Everything that you see on here that was a modification, which isn't much, but there's enough, uh, it's getting redone, even down to the tonneau cover everything is getting swapped out for something different and we're starting from the ground up so the t-rex wheels and tires are gone but we got some sick wheels that just came in yesterday and uh some big big tires big tires big enough that some of you might be offended but i don't care it's my channel my truck i do what i want right i can throw some i can throw some 42s on this well, maybe not 42s but they're gonna be big thank you guys so much for watching thank you for the support with my successful trailer rental business it's been gangbusters so far yeah it's been awesome if you guys wouldn't mind slapping a like down below uh, that helps out too and comment comment what the next wrap color should be on the truck just give me a color or a pattern or something like that uh because for one that helps the algorithm helps the video out and two i really need to know because uh i want to go back to factory color but i also want to exchange the wrap for something crazy especially with the new wheels that we have going they're not going to be black i did my part with affirmative action i've had enough black wheels is it too much <laughs> can i say that it's funny, that's a joke, that's a joke. Dave Chappelle and, and Shane Gillis can say that joke, why can't I? Anyway, let's wrap this up, I'm losing my mind. See you guys next time.